So tonight, the man accused of threatening to kill Congressman Scott Taylor will stay in jail for now. 69-year-old Wallace Godwin faced a federal judge once again today. His lawyers asked to allow Godwin's family to take care of him. The judge ruled otherwise. Tenor News Side's Kara Dixon has been following this story since it broke on Friday and continues our coverage tonight. Kara? Yeah, Anita, the judge wanted uh, ruled against that bond because he sees Godwin's behavior as escalating and believes that's a danger to the community. Now, Godwin's attorney wanted to release him to his family because they don't believe the jail could provide the medical care that he needs. But the judge stated that it would be a wild card to release him and possibly put others in the community at danger. Wallace Godwin's attorney says he suffers from a degenerative brain disease and has dementia. His health started declining about five years ago, and it's gotten worse, even in the short amount of time since he was arrested Friday. Godwin's attorney claims he has a great support system that would be able to take care of him and stop him from being a threat to others. She says that all the guns were taken out of his home months ago, and he doesn't have access to transportation. Prosecutors wanted to keep him behind bars. They say Godwin refused to get treatment for his health problems, and his behavior over the last year has shown many red flags the government can't refuse to ignore. They say the visit started last March when he yelled at one of Taylor's staffers and ended with him threatening to shoot Taylor and two staffers on Thursday. But this wasn't the first time they say he's threatened an official. Prosecutors found that he threatened to kill the mayor of Virginia Beach in February. This was after he called Taylor's office to complain about road conditions. Attorneys say they're taking this seriously because of everything that's led up to this. And Godwin's attorney did give the judge a health report that did state his uh, mental um, health conditions, which included that dementia and the degenerative brain disorder. But it also stated uh, that Godwin stays angry at the world about marijuana and was surprisingly aware of people, places, time, and circumstances. For live, that's all. Kara Dixon, 10 on your side.